Ah naam barabara kabisa kama nilivyokuambia tutakuwa tunazungumza tujue je haya maandamano katika nchi yetu yana umuhimu ama yana ma, yana maana na tutakuwa tunazungumza na baadhi ya wakazi ambao wanafanya biashara hapa hivi ni clean shelf opposite pharmacy ya Transmega na watatuanza utatuambia majina yako alafu tuambie yes nchi yetu ya Kenya imeuchukua mwelekeo unaofaa ama uh, haijachukua mwelekeo unaofaa haya maana maana yana maana ama tukae tutulie thank you so much my viewer and welcome to my youtube channel my name is captain b and you can call me bonfast monique in jogu this is how it is happening in our town our people are still trading on business here and there this is nyahururu town and it is very 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 lane like uh, it seems as if uh, the rains are going to fall any time that is how um the the sky looks like huh? but don't worry about that god has been good and that is what kenyans are actually praying about we are still praying that it is going to rain for the sake of our crops for the sake of our farmers for the sake of the betterment of our nation and without rain we can see how things have been really really really, really, really pushing us very very hard and we know that when rain comes down and then things start changing all of a sudden now therefore you have not yet uh, found an opportunity to see me we have heard about a lot of things that are happening in our country especially demonstrations that are taking place in various uh, parts of the uh, country in various counties uh, the azimio party has decided to go on go on doing uh, uh, rallies of protests uh, they are saying these are protests because the budget is still high the mwananchi cannot be able to zit mwananchi or mwananchi cannot be able to access uh, food stuff in the uh, houses and it is not bad to protest but uh, my question today i'm asking kenyans is it good that this protest continue there, is there is there a need for protests to to be carried on by these parties or uh, we should just wait for the government to work uh, uh it out its plan because the government is saying that it has got a plan and this plan is yet to be implemented and therefore you're joining me from uh, this destination Red. nice 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 and i know now you can see me mm -hmm. on this other side as i said my name is monique injogu or the captain mwenyewe mm, i am here and um i don't think there is any matter to laugh about in our nation there is no matter to laugh about matters are rising are matters that are very much uh uh uh, uh, uh severe matters these are matters that are really involving like matters to do with food matters to do with uh, uh with uh, with the economy matters to do with uh, with the budget these are matters that actually are hitting kenyans really hard and all these kenyans actually we are about billions a lot of millions of kenyans uh we are still we are still uh, asking that we be patient so that our government can get a work a good working schedule to make sure that each and everyone has got resources and finances at his own will now um through this channel i'm trying to uh, communicate to kenyans and feel their taste but most of them communicating to me are saying that it is true the budget is hard it is true that uh, the government needs to have a, um, a good plan on how to lower the budget of of uh, the, the, the the price of unga and that the government needs to check on uh, commodities that kenyans are using each and every day and because of that uh, they have also uh, requested the government to bring the the fertilizers because we can see the the rainy season is about to fall and uh, kenyans really need to plant by the coming month of uh, march april uh, because that is where i think most of the kenyans especially in our location are going to be having uh, preparing the farms and uh, having this this kind of planting issue now uh, most of them are saying the fertilizer has not yet come uh, they are still waiting for the fertilizer and because i want to change my translation my language i don't have a lasain language interpreter and i don't have someone to interpret i don't know whether a lot of people are understanding my language the, the english language especially in my society i have to speak the uh, the lugha ya taifa which is kiswahili so that every one of us can be able to participate and play part in this and my question is very simple even without focusing on so much issues that are happening let me just ask this simple question j eh haya maandamano yanayoendelezwa katika nchi yetu yana maana ama yana muhimu ama ni vizuri tukae tutulie serikali ifanye kazi ama tuendeleze maandamano unajua labda tunaweza andamana tuandamane tuandamane eh tuandamane hapa nyahururu tuandamane Nairobi tuandamane huko Ushago 
e, tuandamane kila mahali. Je, hayo maandamano yatasuluhisha jambo ama hayo maandamano yatakuwa tu ya kuzidisha uchungu kwa wakenya. Na tutaweza kuchukua maoni ya mkenya kutoka hapa hapa hivi mtaani. Usiende mbali ka hapo alafu uone tukizungumza na wananchi, si ndio? Hapo. Ah, naam, barabara kabisa kama nilivyokuambia tutakuwa tunazungumza tujue je, haya maandamano katika nchi yetu yana umuhimu ama yana ma, yana maana? Na tutakuwa tunazungumza na baadhi ya wakazi ambao wanafanya biashara hapa hivi ni Clean Shelf opposite pharmacy ya Transmega na watatuanza utatuambia majina yako alafu tuambie je, nchi yetu ya Kenya imeuchukua mwelekeo unaofaa ama uh, haijachukua mwelekeo unaofaa? Haya maandamano yana maana ama tukae tutulie serikali iweze kufanya kazi. Utuambie kwa majina. Mimi kwa majina ni Simon Mwangi ama barikiwa na fijurikana. Mimi kwa maoni yangu upande wa upande wa maandamano hakuna haja ya kuadamana. Mm -hmm. Wajua ni kwa nini? Na, maandamano ni ya kuharibu ni yaani yani, haya maandamano ni yanaonekana ya, ya kwamba ni kama yamepangwa tu ili Kenya tuziwe na maendeleo. Kwa sababu serikali tuliyoshagua hata haijaka inawezekanaje upande mahindi leo mm. halafu tena uvune kesho mm -hmm. lazima ugoje Naam. tena ukimuona ukimuoa bibi mm -hmm. si umeoa sasa si unataka mtoto Naam. mtoto lazima ukae miezi 9 miezi 9 ndio azaliwe sasa unataka mtoto azaliwe haraka hivyo aje tena Naam. tena kuna jambo lingine ni kwa nini tunalimsa lazima uadamane ujue ni kwa nini unaadamana sababu Se, sababu gani tuadamane Kama ni ushumi, ushumi lazima uge, ugekua juu sababu sio sio Kenya peke yake. Hii ni world wide. Ni world wide. Kwa kama ni kama ni upande wa mafuta, yenye mafuta yako bei juu sana. Na tukipenda serikali tuangushie bei. Ituteremshie bei. Lakini hata tukiadamana, yuki ni watajua kama tumeadamana. Mwarabu watajua tumeadamana ndio ataremshia bei ya mafuta. Kwa hivyo hiyo kukuadamana ni bure tu. Ni kupoteza wakati. Tena tunaadamana Jioni nikifanya maandamano na watoto wanahitaji kukula watakula maandamano kweli Awezi. lazima nifanye kasi kweli, nchi yetu ni nchi ya kazi rais no. adiye tulimchagua tunamuamini na, na tunaona tuna, tuna, anajitahidi sana no. kama ni upande wa ukulima mm -hmm. fertilizer tume, tumeuziwa kwa bei ya chini mm -hmm. unaona no. hiyo fertilizer itatusaidia sana no. kwa hivyo hata kama atu, atafanya nini no. lazima atutusiadamane kwa asanti asanti sana asanti sana bana hayo ni maoni yake na nam na tumerudia na ni vizuri jambo lingine labda ungependa kuhimiza wa Kenya ama ku, kuchangia kwenye uh, ukuaji wa nchi yetu ni lipi hilo ulikuwa unataka kusema jambo lingine ni kwamba ningewaomba vijana kwanza sababu vijana ndio hutumiwa Vijana wasikubali kutumiwa kwa kupewa pesa hivi ya waadamane. Samu mwenye kukupatia pesa hivi ya waadamane, ya ya ni selfish. Ni mtu wabaya, ako self-centered. Anajipenda, ako self-centered. Sababu, anataka tu ajulikane, asikike. Na sana sana, ni wale watu wabawa wataki Kenya yendele. Wanataka miaka mitano, iishe kabla kujafanyika lolote. Dio bada, da bada miaka mitano wakati watakuwa kifanya siyasa, wapate jabu jabu la kusema. Wakisema ya kwa, mm, sasa mnaona, hakuna jabu nifanyika katika nchi ya Kenya. Wow, tunawa, tulipatia zerekali miaka tano imeisha, hakuna kitu wamefanya. Sasa, iyo, iyo haitufaidi shoshote. Sisi tuweche zerekali yedele na kufanya kazi. Ili, hata, hata, hata mafuta itatemuka bei badai. Tunajui, tuna, tuna imani. Sababu hata kama ni fataraisa, kama file ni mesema, hali tuwahidi na tena sasa tunayona. Sasa kwa hivyo tugoje mazuri, Naam. tumpatie muda, eh, tumpatie muda na serikali. Kabla bado ujaondokea, kuna hili swala la, 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 la usalama bado, unajua ni baadhi ya mambo ambayo ya nahusisha nchi yetu. Aha. Ambalo huko kwenye upande wa tunaona kwamba kuna vita, Dio. kuna operation zinaendelea. Eh. Je, ungependa kusema jambo gani kuhusu operation ambazo zinaendelezwa katika pande ile? Aha, kwa upande wa usalama, no. mimi naona Kidiki anajaribu sana. Mm -hmm. Sababu ametuma askari pale. Mm -hmm. Lakini jambo lingine ni kwamba asiwaambia ati anakuja wakati wanaenda kupeta operation huko, oh, wasiseme ati tutakuja kesho. Hiyo ni kama kuambia wakora waondoke. Okay. Waondoke tio tukuje. Hapana, ah. wacha wakutwe vile walivyo. Mm -hmm. Lakini wachuge sana raia wa kawaida asiumie lakini hao wakora ba wanaiba ngombe hao waonanwe nao lakini wakubwa wa, wa, wa hao wengine waache LSK waache kulialia ati ati sisi serikali natumia nguvu nyingi mm. eh askari wetu wameuawa no. kuna watu ambao wameuawa no. lazima serikali itumie nguvu nyingi kutigana na wale wakora vile walivyo no. tena wale wakora wako na siraha wakati unakuta mtu ambaye ako na siraha 
na wewe uende u- pole pole si hata kuua kwa hivyo watumie silaha ambazo tuliwapatia sisi kama serikali kwa sababu sisi wananchi ndio wenye hii serikali na sisi tu tulishagua na tulishagua itulinde tena hao watu wakati wagoje watu hame wale ambao ni watu wazuri wakibaki wale sasa waonane wa, 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 wa na hao na hao haya ah, muda mwingine sababu muda wamepewa waliabii warudishe nini eh, silaha silaha wakurudisha eh. tena hatuwezi kulaumu hii serikali kwa sababu ya mambo ya huko hiyo kutokuwa na usalama huko hatuwezi kuilaumu serikali unajua ni kwa nini rais rais kulikuwa na vita bado huko hiyo vita sio atinaza saa hii hata hii serikali ndio imejaribu sana sababu e, kupigana tena imejaribu hata kupigana na vizari saidi ndio alafu kifupi tu kwa serikali ilisema ya kwamba itakapoingia itashughulikia mama mboga na mtu wa boda boda mm-hmm. uh, ni siku kadhaa kadha ambazo zimepita tangu usukani uweze kuchukuliwa kuna mambo ambayo mnaweza angalia mkasema kweli serikali imefanya hili imefanya hilo na imefanya ndio 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 kwa upande wa mama mboga Naam. mama mboga kuna hizo pesa za hasra fund eh eh hasra fund mama mboga akichukua hasra fund aida nunue mboga na hizo pesa si ataenda akifanya kazi nayo mm afanya biashara nayo no. akilipa anaongezewa no. akilipa anaongezewa no. kwa upande wangu hata mimi mtu wa boda boda no. hizo pesa saa za fund ndizo mm-hmm. mimi mimi nanua nazo mafuta okay. situmi pesa zangu uh-huh. nikilipa oh. Oh. nilikuwa nikilipa uh-huh. nilipewa kwanza 600 eh, baada ya kulipa hiyo 600 uh-huh. sasa nimeongezewa napewa 1200 na 200 uh-huh. mafuta 1200 na 200 nikifanya kazi nayo itaniletea faida yes, na nilipe no. nikishalipa na ongezewa zingine no. eh no. no. hawa no. kwa anajali, anajali mama boga na hata watu wa boda boda ah asante sana na mambo bado watafanya mazuri mengi ah asante sana ah good good hayo ni maoni yake na bado tunazidi kusikia na je kuna mwingine baada ya angependa kuchangia katika huu mswada ili tu jua kwamba unatupokea kutoka hapa hivi Nyahururu mm, hapa hivi ni kaunti ya Laikipia na Uh, bado wanasema mambo bado serikali bado ni mbichi na kwamba itaweza kutekeleza yale yote ambayo aliweza kuahidiwa bora yake tu wananchi wawe na kitu ambacho kinaitwa uvumilivu hebu mwelekezi wetu tupozie tu kidogo alafu tutafute mwake okay, na ni vizuri hata mimi siwezi kwenda pande hii ama pande hii lakini ningependa tu kusema ya kwamba kama vile avyosema ya kwamba hata baada ya kuandamana hakuna mtu atakuletea chakula jioni uh, juu ya kuandamana wacha tutafute mwananchi uh, mwingine ili aweze kutupatia maoni yake kwa muda usio mrefu